Madrid, Spain. Here we are at JFK on the air train heading to our flight. And it was a red eye. We got there on Friday. We landed around 9 a.m. And this was our flight. We went to the hotel, dropped off our bags, and then took the metro to the opera station because the opera was right there. And this was our first scene of the city of Madrid. And we stopped and got breakfast, and this was the first coffee, Cafe Con Leche. And this is where we ate breakfast. And that's my sweetheart having his coffee. And this was the street that the cafe was overlooking. And I took this because I noticed the pumpkin spice latte is an international phenomenon. And we thought this was cute because this is part of Velasquez's famous painting. And then we walked around a bit. We headed down to see some of the sights. This was a street on a Friday morning in Madrid. This is Plaza Mayor, where we ended up several times throughout the trip. It just seemed so central to the city. And here we are in Plaza Mayor. There's the main statue there. And one of the many beautiful buildings. Chinese tapas, I thought that was really cute. We continued to walk the city. We did the market, the tapas market, and then headed over to the big church. The castle across from it, the palace. That's the palace. <laughs> Mid-afternoon, we headed back to the hotel to take a siesta before heading back out for the evening, and we went to the Riena Sofia. It's one of the three major museums in Madrid. And this is one of Picasso's earlier paintings that was in there. And this was at the end of a hallway, a picture I took before I realized that pictures were not allowed. And this is Picasso's Guernica. It is one of his most famous paintings. It's in that museum. This is not a picture of it. This is off the internet because pictures were not allowed. This was inside the museum where pictures were allowed. That's Darren and I. And another picture inside. It was a very pretty inside, but not our favorite museum we've ever been to. So back out onto the streets of Madrid on a Friday night and looking for some tapas. This was the first place we stopped to have some non-alcoholic beer.
Good morning, Saturday from the bank center of Madrid. Me being a clown here. And that's my sweetheart. We walked some really pretty streets all the way up to the Prado, which is one of the major museums, another major museum, art museum in Madrid. But then we realized we needed to buy tickets, so we bought tickets online and headed back out because we had to wait a couple of hours through the literary section of Madrid. Yoga and plants, two of my favorite things. So churros and chocolate is a big thing in Spain. Darren read this is one of the most popular eateries for churros and chocolate in Madrid. So we came here and there are the said churros and chocolate. That's chocolate, not coffee in there. And there is Darren enjoying his first bite. I always take a picture of these in the cities we go to because I just do, I don't know why. And the Tyson, Tyson, sorry, we never went there and the Prado very close to one another. Here I was lying back just waiting for Darren who was messing around with our online tickets. A little frustrated but <laughs> and he went in. This is Darren's illegal picture of the Prado before he was told there's no pictures. And that evening, Saturday evening, we went to go see Flamenco. Saturday evening after flamenco, we went back out for tapas to tapier to head out for tapas and some non-alcoholic beer. And then we walk the streets, just taking in the sights, seeing people walk around doing their normal Madrid things. It was a full moon and beautiful. Sunday morning, we accidentally slept in really late. And we had breakfast at the hotel and then headed out to El Rastro. The thickest of the crowd. This is not the thickest of the crowd. This is like where I could actually touch my phone and move it. This is the most crowded place I've ever been in in my whole life. The husband, and this is the antique section of the Rotilda. Although this isn't, this is more structural here, but the Rotilda behind us, which I'll zoom in through, is where the street markets are. After El Rastro, we roamed the streets around the La Latina area and went down a street called Calle Segovia, Mr. Segovia Street. And on the way there, we were looking for a place to eat and we stopped here. It was a small little cafe known for rice. So we ordered and tried our first paella with some non-alcoholic beer again. The thing about Calle Segovia is it boasts views of the Segovia Bridge, which is right there. And off to another popular church.
This is the Church of San Francisco, St. Francis. The outside is a beautiful flower garden. I wouldn't mind living right there in those apartment buildings. And there seems to be a view over the side that I'm going to go take a look at. The next area of the city we we'll walk through is La Malasaña. This was one of the first things we saw. Those are pants hanging and colorful bottles of liquid of just various dyed color and each pair of pants had flowers in them. This was sort of a hip, hippie, yogish, yoga-esque, vegan uh, area of the city. Really cute. Wrapping up our last day here, we took the metro over to this, back to the main part of the city, to the city park. And this is Madrid's equivalent to Central Park. What's striking about the park and the city in general and Spain versus the United States is that everybody is out every single evening before dinner and after dinner just enjoying life, walking around, talking with friends, having little picnics, uh, holding hands, hanging out with friends and family. This is the sun setting on our last evening. Monday morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. So Spain is not on the right time zone, they say. During World War II, it was moved to be in line with Germany. So they've never moved it back and their sun rises and sets much later than everywhere else. This is us saying goodbye to Madrid. Until next time. <laughs>